A sun-synchronous orbit is defined as a near-polar Earth orbit that provides a consistent sun-lighting condition along the orbit's ground track. And another way to think about this in 3D is that the orbital plane of the satellite's orbit stays in a constant angle with respect to the sun. So in this case, I have here in the yellow plotted as a sun vector, and the spacecraft is going around in its near-polar orbit. And then if we speed up the time here, what we find for a sun-synchronous orbit is that, again, this angle stays the same. So the angle between the angular momentum of the spacecraft orbit, which would be in this direction, is staying the same about roughly 90 degrees to the sun vector. And that is the definition of the sun-synchronous orbit, which is caused by the J2 perturbation, which you can pick certain orbits with their altitude and inclinations in order to match this drift of right ascension to the Earth's true anomaly around the sun. And again, this is what a ground track would look like for one day for a 1400 kilometer altitude sun synchronous orbit. And this is just a sneak peek quick video into when I'm going to go into the, all the full details of how I calculate all this in Python. So how to do the simulation of the spacecraft trajectory, calculate the lat long coordinates, write the spice kernel, and then load it into the Cosmographia software. So for those who are new here, I have over 65 videos regarding topics like orbital mechanics with Python, numerical methods with Python, and spacecraft attitude control with Python. And I also have the Space Engineering Podcast on this channel, which is also available on Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Simplecast. All of these I'll have links in the description too. So be sure to hit like and subscribe to stay up to date with all the new videos coming out here.